Parents, you can see STEM elements added to your students' classrooms, all thanks to one Tri-County initiative. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. The Tri-County STEMmersion program shows educators real-world STEM use to inspire classroom teaching plans. Our Tiana Maxwell is in Somerville at the Dorchester Economic Development Office. Tiana, you spoke with officials there, and how does this program affect classrooms? Shelby, Katie, this week the Dorchester County Economic Development got a $25,000 grant to bring STEM skills into Tri-County classrooms. Now these funds let more teachers join the program to learn new industry topics like healthcare and AI. The Stemmersion program is a nonprofit project founded by Dorchester County before spreading to Berkeley and Charleston counties. Officials say the program looks to bring STEM elements across the Tri-County to bridge the gap of industry needs. The program is a week-long summer event where educators and counselors meet STEM industry experts. The takeaway is to create a long create lessons plans rather and projects for students the next school year. Officials say the grant expanded the program with over 120 educators already joining the opportunity. Somerville High School teacher Matt Marvin tells me this program is a great chance to work with local STEM industries and other educators. The experience will give him a chance to create a curriculum that best prepares students for the future workforce. What I'm interested in focusing on is how are our local industry partners um, implementing some concepts like lean manufacturing, uh, work cells, things like that, and maybe trying to develop some of those things on a high school level for some of our projects that students can engage in. You know, how do I go into an industrial environment? You know, what are um, what can I expect to see there? The week-long project runs from June 17th to the 21st. Officials tell me that planning for next year's event is already around the corner. In Somerville, Tiana Maxwell, Live 5 News.